Uh, what about you? I am single. If you count a six-day committed relationship, then I've been single for four months. If that doesn't count, it's been a year and a half. How can Wait, we hold on six can you, days? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. Can, can you just repeat that? So there was a six-day something. Yes, a committed six-day relationship. The commitment lasted for six days. Indeed. Wow. Okay. Yes. How did how did it that how <laughs> just how? Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I I think what do you mean? these just men are scared. You? They're scared? They're scared. Well, he committed to it for six days. <laughs> on the seventh day, yeah. he said... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on the six seventh days. day. <laughs> on the seventh day, he pulled the plug. Yeah, so... Nothing good was created in six days, huh? So yeah. besides the... That's kind of smart, though. Yeah, besides the six-day thing, it's been, a, you said, a year and four months? A year, and, a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. Just single. Single, yeah. Single, okay. So you're currently single. Currently single. Longest single. relationship was two and a half years. Okay, and you've been single, you said for four months, was it? Or how long have you been single? Two months? Single four months if you count the six-day relationship. Okay, yeah. so that was four months ago. That was four months ago. Okay, gotcha. But if not, a year and a half. Okay. Correct. And in our pre-show messages, you said that you only date outside your state and fly out to go on dates. Every relationship I've been in has been long distance at one point, if not the whole relationship. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh... So you've never, what's going on locally? Nothing locally or? I live in a scary place. Where, what do you mean? Uh, you live in like, Kaz or what, what's a scary place? <laughs> the whole state? Kaz I, I apologize to our Kazakhstani viewers. <laughs> Kazakhstani, it's, it's not scary. <laughs> you, All right. I'm a fan of Kazakhstan. I'd be glad to visit. Um, wait, so okay. Uh, what's a scary place? Are you like in uh, the border, like the border conflict where Ukraine and Russia is currently fighting or? <laughs> A little bit scarier. You ever heard of Compton? Breaking oh, Bad. <laughs> New Me Albuquerque. Yeah. Albuquerque. Hold on. Your Albuquerque is worse than the current Ukraine conflict. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the dating scene is probably worse in Albuquerque than in Ukraine. I mean, Ukraine's got traditional men at least. <laughs> so facts. New yeah. Mexico mm -hmm. is not is not good right now. For dating, it's scary. Yeah. How so? Um. There's not much to do, so got drugs, got alcohol, got what? a feminine man. <laughs> in New Mexico? Yeah. Is New, Me is New is Mexico like more than... liberal or conservative? Is it Well, in the state? city I'm in, it's pretty liberal. Albuquerque's blue? Albuquerque's blue, yeah. Okay. But I, I do long distance for a multitude of reasons. I think it helps widening. When you widen the dating pool, yeah. you got better options are you getting flown out by the dudes or, or are you flying out to see the dudes no i fly out to see them yeah. Well, yeah. don't you work in uh like an airline or what what's your job again yeah i fly for free i work at an airline are you one of the f desk people or are you an, a flight attendant or? no i'm desk person you're okay a ticket agent a ticket agent <laughs> yeah. and you get to fly for free i do get to fly oh, for that's free. convenient i'd be so yeah. flattered if someone flew to another state to come and go on a date with yeah. me <laughs> But then you find out it was yeah. part of their conversation. I'm not the only one, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but then six days win -win. later, they abandon you. What's yeah. up? It's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's, yeah, it's really fun. I recommend it if any of you can do it. Okay, so um, have you done any international travel to meet a guy? Or is it strictly domestic? Um, international is a bit hard. I dated in France for five months. Okay. Yeah. How'd you so how are you meeting these dudes? Like, are you just swiping in like New York and Vegas? So you'll ch you're on dating pro apps, right? I am, yeah. And you'll like put your location as Vegas or LA or exactly. Where, yeah. Where's your like premier number one location you'd like to set it to? Minneapolis. Min huh? <laughs> Please elaborate. Got that Very premium. Random. <laughs> <laughs> Got that Tinder premium. <laughs> Not on Tinder. Um, yeah, they they got sweet boys over there. Oh, okay. Minneapolis. Yeah. Isn't it cold there? Like I love the cold. But also on when you start a long distance relationship first, people get a lot more vulnerable because you're not face to face and it really well, yeah, yeah, it really I mean, moves things in a good direction. You don't have to wow. like go through that physical phase first. So you get to like know you know what I mean? Like yeah. know that person deeper. Yeah. Would you would I you date person. someone who works uh, for the APD? Albuquerque Police Department? Yeah. My my two and a half year relationship was with a cop. Stop. <laughs> she said stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. 
you and got, you got through in, it. in your pre-show information, you also said that you used to be a hardcore leftist atheist feminist, but you are now recently a conservative born-again Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Love to hear it. Yes. Okay. Um, so when you were dating the cop, was this during your hardcore leftist atheist feminist phase or your conservative born-again Christian phase? <laughs> hardcore leftist atheist feminist phase. How did you reconcile your hardcore leftist atheist feminist <laughs> beliefs with dating a... Um, I like to say it can be pretty convincing, so I think we both got to a point of being pretty moderate, but I've always okay. been a tame leftist. I, well, I mean, isn't that kind of the antithesis of being a hardcore anything? I mean, you can't, can you be tame hardcore? My beliefs were hardcore, my delivery was sweet and gentle. So okay. was, was your I upbringing, see. like, were you brought up Christian or No, or was it liberal atheist? Buddhist family. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, 